In this review of the Galleon Inn, we show you two different types of room, we show you the included breakfast, we talk about the location, and we also tell you who the Galleon Inn wouldn't be suitable for. So we've spent our first night in Foy at the Galleon Inn and our room is Guillemot. They're all named after birds. So let's come and show you around the room. And Paulie Morgan. <laughs> Morning. So before we give you a tour of the room, let's talk about location, Paulie. Location, excellent location, right on the seafront. It's very small roads going through Foy, Fairy, answers down below how you uh, pronounce it and there's a long stay car park which is approximately a 10 minute walk so what we did pull up outside drop the bags off carol came in i drove to the car park now when you go into the car park it says you can go up to 24 hours but you can also if you press plus again when you get to 24 hours that takes you up to a week now it's six pound for 24 hours because we're staying overall in the area for four nights i've done the week and it's only 15 pound for the whole week so obviously just over two pound a day if you've got mobility issues these rooms won't be any good to you at all because they're they're over two floors but you have to go up obviously a one flight of stairs to get to this level and another flight of stairs to well, get two to the flights. level. Oh, yeah. So if you've got mobility issues, this wouldn't be a good choice for you. Yeah. And also breakfast, because we've just had breakfast, oh, breakfast and yeah. it's included in the price. It's only from 8.30 to 9.30. Excellent service. We've had great service yeah. at this hotel. Lovely, friendly bar staff and breakfast staff. And I've just had some boiled eggs uh, and toast and Paulie's just had a full English and it was really good. Hot, tasty food, wasn't it? Yes, and they're, um, they've got a coffee machine which they serve for you. Yeah. Juices, they've got cereals, they've got yogurts, they've got a toast station with brown and white bread and marmite marmite jam all yeah. sorts of stuff well. with a lovely view yeah. so let's show you around the room let's start you um obviously you come with the tea coffee facilities and the kettle and a little desk here um as you can see where we've just popped our cases and a chair and if you look around this way you can see there's a tiny tiny wardrobe which has only got about five hangers so if you are um bring you know bring your own hangers if you want to if you're going to need more but what we've loved as well is a big safe and you know if you've watched our hotel reviews uh, we do love a big safe and there's a hairdryer there and then the bathroom has been fam fabulous, hasn't it, Paulie? Yes, a lovely big shower with a, a big shower head and a side shower. You have your own products, not your own products. They provide products, the, the Scottish Fine Soaps, uh, which is sea kelp, and that's been really lovely. And as you can see, a good floor, floor space and good. It's a huge shower, isn't yeah. it? It's really big. Um, Yes, so it's been absolutely uh, fab, the bathroom. And then if we come round to here, you'll see that the rooms aren't huge, but it's been absolutely adequate, hasn't it? You've got little drawers by the side of your bed, which you've got each side, you've got two English plugs and you've got two USBs, both sides. Bed's really, really comfortable. And as you can see, there's a fan over there, it gets too hot. And you've also got a TV. Not that we've been here to... We're, we're away for our friend's wedding, so uh, we've been out partying with them. So that's been great. And as you can see, it's not the most um, picturesque view out of the window. You're just looking across the, the building there. But as you can see, that's how close you are to the sea. Right then, so our second room has been called Avocet. So let's have a look around this one. Here's Paulie Morgan. So let's start this end with the same as before, open plan wardrobe with a large safe and a hair dryer here. And as you'll see the room, it's slightly bigger than Gilly Moss, isn't it? Yes. Slightly bigger, a uh, bit more for floor space, but same facilities. So you've got your, your your plugs with the USB either side, you've got the really comfortable bed, you've got your tea and coffee, you've got a little stool. In this room, what you have got extra is you've got two chairs because you've got one there and you've got one here and you've also got the air conditioner which has been amazing because it's got really hot doesn't that's it hot, yeah. so that's been that's been fab overnight and you've got a big bathroom that also the other plus to this room is you've got a bath so it's an over shower um bath over bath uh, shower, shower with now the same what, products now what i will say is strange about the over bath shower is every over bath shower no. i've ever seen the shower would be here yeah with the water going that way 
so there's less chance of flooding the place whereas because it's there you haven't got loads of room to stand in there and, and the shower curtain is definitely a little tiny bit restricted whereas mm. if they'd have put it there and I can't see any reason why they wouldn't have put it there is a strange thing no because you've got water coming in yeah. there aren't you but anyway, but it's, yeah. But so, it's just small, just small yeah. details. So that's the, the main differences, really, between the two rooms. Um, but again, a very functional room, very yeah. modern, very yeah. clean. Um, and we've, you know, we've had a very comfortable night's sleep in here. If so, you've seen our um, previous vlog about our other room that we stayed in, which was Guillemot, that was up a flight of stairs. This is up two flights of stairs. Yeah. So... Definitely, definitely, definitely no good for anybody who's got mobility issues because you've got to hump your bags up two flights of stairs. So do bear that in mind if you're thinking about booking it. It's fabulous. The facilities are great. The breakfast downstairs is great. The location. Are, location. Yeah. It's got everything going for it apart from the mobility situation yeah. where you, you just wouldn't be able to stay here. No, exactly that. Now you've seen our review of the Galleon. We have stayed as well because we've been here four days in the King of Prussia and see the pink building over there I don't know if you want to I can point at it we stayed in that room there so why don't you watch that video next